city, lots of people like to do things one way, and plenty of people like to do things another way. But I happen to know for sure that nobody does anything like my brother Fudge. Something else with your peanut butter today? Something different? Like what? Like jelly? Jelly? Yuck, that's disgusting. Our loves and you loves. We all love them, our laughs. Now for dessert. Warren, if you're going to juggle food, join the circus. Oh, yeah? I thought I had. You want to bet I make it this time? All right, it's a bet. But if you lose, you take Fudge to the dentist today. That's a deal. Okie dokie, all set. Hey, that didn't count. That didn't count. You can pick him up after school. His appointment's at 3.30. What about Pete? Isn't he going to? When is the last time Peter went to the dentist? Ah, uh, it's been a while. You should probably take both of them. Fudge, go brush your teeth extra well for Dr. Brown. When was the last time you saw the dentist? Quite recently. Yesterday. The newsstand. Move over, Pete. My teeth are going to the doctor today. That's dentist fudge, and you're not going to like it. Why not? Because you never brush your teeth. Yes, I do. Watch me, Pete. Oh, great, Fudge, for a clam. Do clams have this many teeth, Pete? Clams don't have any teeth, Fudge, and you won't either if you don't brush better than that. Why not? Because if you don't keep your teeth really, really clean, you'll get cavities, and then one by one, they'll all fall out. I bet that tooth fairy will pay a lot of money for my teeth. I'm sure she would, Fudge, but not enough to get someone to chew your food for you. What about you, Pete? Aren't you worried? I'm not going to the dentist. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Peter, your dad will pick you up after school today. What for? Because you're going to the dentist, too. Huh? Do I, you, Pete? Listen, Fudge, I'm not worried because I brush my teeth. One dollar, two dollar, three dollars, four. <coughs> Hey, Dad. How'd it go? Just as I expected. No cavities. Oh, way to brush, Peter! Now, where's Fudge? Dr. Brown's still trying to pry his mouth open. Uh-oh. Don't be kidding, Dad. speak to you. Hey, Dusty, how's it going? Real good. Great selection of magazines. Mm -hmm. I was just about to read a fascinating article in Cows. <laughs> cows. You know, cows take better care of their teeth than fudge. Really? Mm-hmm. He has four cavities. Four? Well, that's four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 33% of his mouth is in decay. I even had to show him how to use a toothbrush. Thanks, Dusty. I'll make sure he uses it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Just a red hot minute. What? Open up. What? Oh, up, 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 Why? up, 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 up,
You know how to use a toothbrush? No. How about Pete? Come on. Come on. Come on, Pete. Come on, Guess what, Pete? I got four cavities. How many did you get? None. Looks like I won. <laughs> You got four cavities? How is that possible, Warren? I don't know, Ann. I only had one. I didn't have any, Mom. Well, that's terrific, Peter. Well, Dr. Brown says the fudge should brush his teeth three times a day. That's three times more than he's brushing now. Where's the sprinkles? In the pantry, fudge. He's only five. That's practically a cavity a year. Maybe he needs more fluoride in his toothpaste. That won't do any good, Dad. I mean, look at him. Look at what he eats. This is why he has cavities. Pete's just jealous because he didn't get any cavities. Peter has a point. Maybe Fudge does eat too many sweets. You think so? Pass the sprinkles. You should see what he eats at school. Today he had sugar cubes in his lunchbox. Really? Where'd he get sugar cubes? It's not funny, Warren. It's serious. He could become dependent. Oh, come on, Ann. That's silly. I said, please pass your sprinkles. Oh, really? I'd like to see you give it up for a week. Me? What about you? Wouldn't be a problem for me, Warren. Oh, you don't think so? No, I'm not a sweets person. Excuse me, the sprinkles. Oh, well, you're not, are you? Well, then, I think we should all give it up for a week. Good idea. What? Me too? I don't believe it. It's going to mean clearing out all the sweets in the house. It isn't fair. I didn't have any cavities. You really think that's necessary? You know another way? Well, we could exercise self-control. Pass the sprinkles now! I mean it! I mean them! <sighs> Let's get started. Oh, great. So I have to suffer because Fudge has no self-control? That's real fair. go for one week without sweets, and then everything will go back to normal. But I gotta have dessert, Pete. 
Better off eating dog biscuits. Really? Fudge, put that dog biscuit down. No, it's dessert. You can't eat that. Give it back. Boy, is he desperate. I wonder if these things do have any sugar in them. Give it back. It's mine. Look, here's a nice shiny apple for your dessert. I don't want that. I want the dog biscuit. How about a banana? No. Fudge. This is after just one day. What you expect to happen in there, Warren? Why don't you have a piece of fruit? What's that? Pomegranate. Oh, right. For a second there, I looked for all the world like a chocolate donut. <laughs> I'm just going to run this cookbook I borrowed from Jean Tubman back up to her. Okay. Pomegranate. Sandwiches? Yeah, he says his stomach's growing. <laughs> I'll say. Actually starting to like these. Yeah, you're on the road to recovery, Warren. Oh, Peter, I have a late meeting today, so would you walk Fudge home from school, please? Oh, sure. I'd love to. What's the matter, Peter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. There's nothing good to eat in this house. You got a problem, Pete. <laughs> Am I the only one who's miserable? We've gone almost an entire week without eating anything with sugar in it. No candy, no cake, no nothing. Only one more day and then anything I want. I could go a week without sugar. Well, I could. Anyway. I thought that the Surgeon General said that most of our sugar should come from fresh fruit. Don't even say that word to me. Surgeon General? No, fruit. I am so sick of fruit. I feel like a chimpanzee. Or a bat. Or a worm. <laughs> Calm down, Peter. One more day and you get to eat whatever you feel like. Yeah. What are you going to break your fast with, Peter? That's just it. I can't decide. If I were you, I'd have granola. Granola? I don't want something good for me. I want something that's good, like triple-decker chocolate fudge ice cream cake. Cake. I want imaginative. I'd have marzipan. I love marzipan. Marzipan? Isn't that a country in Brazil? Brazil is a country, Peter. You're thinking of Mazatlan. It's in Mexico. Marzipan is an almond confection. I'd have a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Well, I would. Or maybe I'd have a creme brulee. No, I think it would have to be a tart to tell, which has an exquisite caramel aftertaste. <sighs> this is totally disgusting. I can't believe I paid for a sandwich with olives in it. Yeah! 
Wait till I see that kid again. Yeah! I know. I'm looking for him, too. He told me the same thing. Yeah! Yeah, I have to walk home with Fudge today. Do you want to wait? Hi, Yassi! Whoa! It's the human centrifuge. And no offense, but I'll catch you later. Fudge, slow down! I can't be fine! Where'd you get this candy, Fudge? From the candy room, Pete. The wonderful, wonderful candy room. Come on, I'll show you. You can't go in the teacher's lounge. Sure you can. Watch me. Come back here, Fudge. What if you get caught? Hey, Hatcher, where's your brother? What do you want him for? He owes us some money. Yeah. What for? We're selling us sandwiches with olives. We don't like olives. Yeah. So where is he, Hatcher? He... Uh, well, I'm sick. He has, uh, malaria. Will you tell him we're waiting for him? Yeah! All for you, Pete! There he is! Let's do it! Selling one's healthy lunch to buy candy is unacceptable behavior for a child or anyone else for that matter. Yes, but... Furthermore, it proves what I've always suspected. This child is unprincipled and rebellious. Now, wait one minute. That boy needs discipline and no candy. Don't you ever eat candy, Mrs. Hildebrand? Never. Besides, that's not the point. Thank you, Mrs. Hildebrand. I'll take over now. Fine. Mr. Green, I feel that we're to blame for Fudge's behavior. You see, he went to the dentist and he came home with four cavities. So we decided to try to go without sweets for a week. A whole week without sweets? I could never go a whole week. Tell me about it. Warren? Well, I couldn't either. You didn't? Oh, I'm so relieved. I didn't either. Well, I guess that means none of us did, except Peter. Wait a minute. You mean I'm the only one who suffered all week? I guess so. I don't believe you. Sorry, Peter. The whole week, Peter. That's quite an achievement. We're very proud of you. But you won't have to do it again. That's right. As long as you and Fudge eat plenty of other things like fruit. Don't say that word. And vegetables and other good stuff. There's no reason you can't have a treat now and then. Yay! Here you go, Pete. Ugh, no thanks. So, where'd you cheat? Where's Henry? Henry, that rascal. <laughs> well, what about you? Henry. Warren. Um, thanks for saving me from the big Lucas, Pete. Don't thank me, Fudge. Thank Mrs. Hildebrand. <laughs> 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 Just goes to show you, nobody's perfect. Oh, could you do it? Could you go without sweets for a week? I know I couldn't. Record Breakers Gold is coming up next this afternoon.